For centuries, humanity has looked to the stars and wondered what secrets might drift through the darkness between them. We have mapped planets, traced comets, and cataloged countless asteroids, believing that the solar system was a closed neighborhood where everything followed predictable rules. But every so often, the universe sends us a reminder that we are not the sole players on this stage. The James Webb Space Telescope, built to peer back in time and capture the first light of galaxies born after the Big Bang, has now turned its gaze on something entirely different, something close, fast, and alien. Astronomers call it 3I Atlas, an interstellar traveler moving with such speed and precision that it cannot be explained by natural means alone. At first, it was thought to be just another rock, a fragment expelled from a distant star system long ago. But then the anomalies began to pile up, its orbit too exact, its surface too reflective, its movements too deliberate. Now, with Webb's instruments capturing the clearest image ever taken of this enigmatic visitor, the uncomfortable truth is emerging. 3I Atlas may not be a comet or an asteroid at all. It may be a machine, built by hands, or something, far older and more advanced than our own. And if that is true, then its arrival is not just a discovery, it is a message. When 3I Atlas was first detected on July 1st by the NASA-funded Atlas survey, it appeared to be nothing more than a faint speck against the velvet black of space. But within days, astronomers realized it was extraordinary. Its speed was measured at over 133,000 miles per hour, faster than almost anything we've ever tracked. More alarming still, it was not bound to the gravitational pull of the sun in the way natural bodies usually are. Its orbit was hyperbolic, meaning it had come from interstellar space and would, in theory, leave again. That alone placed it among the rarest objects ever discovered. Only the third interstellar visitor humanity has ever confirmed after Oumuamua and Borisov. But unlike them, its trajectory was unsettling in its precision. It aligned itself to sweep near the orbits of Jupiter and Mars before slingshotting around the sun, timed perfectly so that Earth would be on the opposite side when it made its closest approach. To some scientists, this was a coincidence. To others, it looked like avoidance. Webb's first glimpses of 3I Atlas confirmed what many feared. Its surface was smooth, reflective, and geometric in ways that defied natural formation. Instead of tumbling chaotically through space, it rotated with a steady rhythm, as though stabilized by an internal mechanism. Natural objects don't fly like this. Machines do. When the James Webb Telescope locked onto 3I Atlas, scientists expected to see the familiar jagged irregularities of an icy rock. But Webb's powerful instruments revealed something that shattered those expectations. The surface of the object reflected light like polished metal, shimmering with an unnatural brightness that no cometary ice could produce. It was small, yes, but its reflectivity made it appear larger, as if designed to stand out rather than hide. More disturbingly, Webb detected faint but repeating thermal signatures across its surface. These were not the chaotic emissions of a comet shedding gas and dust, but measured pulses of heat, released in intervals so precise that they resembled code. Natural objects do not send messages. Yet here was an interstellar body, radiating patterns that hinted at intent. The stabilization of its spin, the consistency of its orientation, the way it managed its heat intake, all of it resembled technology, not geology. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, who once argued that Oumuamua might have been artificial, pointed to these details as the strongest evidence yet that we may be seeing engineered design. Look for non-gravitational acceleration, he warned. And sure enough, Webb picked up tiny but deliberate course corrections, shifts in trajectory too subtle to be caused by sunlight or random outgassing. Something inside 3I Atlas was steering it, as data poured in, something even stranger began to emerge. Analysts reviewing the infrared signatures noticed that the pulses from 3I Atlas were not random. They followed sequences. First came prime numbers, then Fibonacci patterns, then ratios suspiciously close to PI. These are not accidents of physics. They are hallmarks of communication. In the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, scientists have long argued that mathematics is the universal language the one way to prove intelligence across the stars. And now, here it was, written not in radio waves, but in heat, 
a subtle, deliberate signal encoded in the very way the object released energy. Some speculated it was aimed at us, waiting for us to notice. Others feared it was not for us at all, but for someone else, another receiver far beyond our reach. Governments and space agencies, once open about sharing data, suddenly grew silent. Observation logs went offline, databases froze, and updates were locked behind closed doors. Journalists searching for answers found only redacted reports and cryptic statements. In the silence, theories spread like wildfire. Was 3i Atlas communicating with Earth? Or was Earth simply eavesdropping on a conversation never meant for us? With every new discovery, the possibility that 3i Atlas is artificial grows stronger. Its heat shielding, its stabilized spin, its coded signals, even the faint electromagnetic bursts detected by Webb all point to design, not accident. If it is a probe, then it means someone out there has been building machines capable of traveling between the stars. Machines that could have been launched thousands or even millions of years ago. And if it is a machine, then it is here with a purpose. Some scientists argue it could be a surveyor, cataloging planets and civilizations as part of a vast interstellar network. Others suggest it might be a relic, an ancient construct still carrying out a mission long after its creators are gone. The most chilling theory is that it is a sentinel, deliberately timed to reveal itself now that humanity has the technology to detect and study it. Its silence, its avoidance of Earth, its strange but unmistakable patterns, all of it feels less like coincidence and more like a test. A test not of our science, but of our readiness. Because if 3i Atlas is watching us, then it may not be here to communicate at all. It may simply be here to decide what happens next. As scientists continued to track 3i Atlas, one detail grew harder to dismiss. Its trajectory appeared to be carefully mapped to avoid Earth. When plotted against the orbital paths of the planets, the object's route seemed too perfect, skimming the gravitational fields of Mars and Jupiter, but steering just wide of our planet by millions of miles. At first, this was written off as coincidence, the natural product of a random hyperbolic orbit. But statistical models showed something far stranger. The probability of such a perfect avoidance occurring naturally was vanishingly small. This was not the chaotic wandering of a cometary fragment. It was precision. To some, this avoidance suggested caution, as if 3i Atlas was deliberately keeping its distance, surveying from afar without direct engagement. To others, it hinted at strategy, an advanced probe ensuring it could observe us without being detected too early. If so, then the unsettling question arises. How many times has it, or others like it, passed through our solar system unnoticed before? Webb's high-resolution thermal scans revealed another anomaly. Unlike natural bodies, which rotate freely and expose all sides to the sun's heat, 3i Atlas kept one side almost constantly oriented toward the star, as though equipped with a shield. That side showed abnormal reflectivity, bouncing back solar radiation far more efficiently than the rest of the object. This raised the possibility of deliberate engineering, a heat-resistant surface, perhaps similar to the thermal protection systems we use on spacecraft. But this shielding was far beyond our capabilities, withstanding not only solar radiation, but also regulating internal heat to an astonishing degree. Some researchers proposed it could function as a sail, capturing solar energy for propulsion while protecting sensitive equipment within. Others speculated it might be a kind of cloaking mechanism, designed to mask its true nature by presenting only a reflective surface to observation. Whatever its purpose, the existence of such a shield implied one undeniable fact. 3i Atlas was built to endure, not for days or years, but for eons of interstellar travel. The more scientists examined the web data, the less certain they became that 3i Atlas was alone. Faint anomalies appeared in the background of images, dim reflections, subtle distortions, possible smaller companions traveling in its wake. These could have been camera artifacts, but some analysts argued otherwise. Cross-checks with ground-based telescopes revealed hints of secondary objects, smaller, fainter, yet following the same trajectory. Could 3i Atlas be part of a swarm, just as other mysterious interstellar visitors have been theorized to be? If so, then Webb's first image was not simply capturing a lone traveler, but the leading edge of something larger, 
a caravan of probes or fragments deliberately designed to scatter and collect information. The possibility rattled researchers. If this was just one of many, then what we are seeing may not be an isolated event, but one node in a network spread across the stars. At first, news of 3i Atlas spread quickly, with NASA, ESA, and independent observatories sharing updates freely. But as Webb's images became clearer and the anomalies harder to explain, that openness began to shrink. Data once accessible to the public suddenly required clearance. Reports were redacted. Some observatories claimed technical difficulties, while others simply went silent. Journalists pressing for answers were met with vague statements about ongoing analysis and the need to avoid premature speculation. Yet in the shadows of this silence, leaked fragments of information began to surface, suggesting that 3i Atlas's behavior was too deliberate to dismiss and that agencies knew far more than they were willing to admit. Elon Musk himself weighed in on social media, hinting that what Webb had captured was the clearest sign yet that we are not alone. Whether his words were speculation or based on privileged knowledge remains unknown. But one thing is clear. 3i Atlas has forced institutions to choose between transparency and secrecy, and their silence may speak louder than anything else. 3i Atlas was supposed to be a fleeting curiosity, another rock from the void passing through our system before vanishing forever. But the James Webb Space Telescope has shown us otherwise. Its reflective shield, its precise trajectory, its strange pulses of heat, its possible companions, all of it points not to randomness, but to intention. And intention means design. If this is a machine, then somewhere in the vastness beyond our sun, there are makers, beings who have already mastered the ability to cross the stars. What they want, and why they have chosen now, remains the greatest mystery of all. Perhaps they are observing, measuring, waiting for humanity to take the next step before revealing themselves. Or perhaps they have no interest in us at all, and we are simply eavesdropping on a mission far larger than our imagination can grasp. The silence from agencies, the coded signals in the data, the refusal of the object to approach Earth, all of it feels like a test. And the truth is, we may not be the ones deciding the outcome. The universe has sent us a messenger, and whether we like it or not, it has stopped being a question of if we are alone. The only question left is, what happens when the silence finally breaks? If you want to follow every update, every web image, and every revelation about 3i Atlas, like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications, because the next glimpse could change the story of humanity forever.